Hey everyone, welcome to the Business Report show. Um, this wasn't a planned video today, but I, I was looking at my stock portfolio and noticed that Tesla has hit a 52 week high. It finally went over the $700 per share barrier and now it hit a 52 week high of 718. As of the time right now, it's pulled back a little bit to about 712, but this is a big gain. It's one of the market movers today. Uh, it's gone up just over 3% and a lot of people are following it right now. Now the volumes are a little bit lighter because it is uh, New Year's Eve, so there are less people trading on the platforms today, but still at 35 million, it's 100 day average volumes about 50 million. So the volume's just slightly under, but I think today Tesla is just ramping up. There's gonna be some quick uh, profit taking, I suspect, uh, for the last hour here in trading, uh, but I, I do suspect that Tesla's probably gonna close just about 700 after I added this video and posted on YouTube. Uh, but exciting news considering I just did a video on Tesla uh, last week just talking about how I'm still looking at it as a long-term play and I think people looking at Tesla should do the long-term here. There are a few fundamentals that I think are going to bode well for Tesla in, new, in the new year. I think as they ramp up production in some of their new factories and they start meeting their delivery demands, I think those will bode well for the stock price. Now, just reading some of the news right now, one analyst did say because Tesla has ramped up so much and when you do look at a price per earning standpoint, it is significantly higher than its peers. One thing that may hit the stock hard is if they don't meet certain analyst expectations. And we've seen this before in Tesla, there's nothing new. They could miss deliveries by one vehicle and the stock market reacts. but over the long term you've always seen it bounce back which i think is great for us long-term investors in buying the dip so as they announce fourth quarter results and maybe they don't meet the expectations you're probably going to see you know 35 40 dollar per share pullback and at that time if you want to rebuy into average cost down for your portfolio it's probably a good time if you still believe in the long term for tesla now, another thing to consider why there's been a bit of a ramp up is, of course, you do have a segment of the investor population that has always shorted Tesla. They've gotten burned tremendously this year, I think to tune of uh, over $30 billion worth of short sellers having to cover their losses. So you may be seeing some of that right now that's adding to the ramp up. And the other thing noted by Seeking Alpha is that there's an analyst group out of Taiwan called Masterlink Securities and they actually initiated coverage, which is kind of odd on New Year's Eve, but they initiated coverage for Tesla today and gave it a buy rating. So you're probably seeing some new investors come in. You're probably still seeing fund managers from the S&P listing, uh, rebalancing their portfolio, still needing to buy into Tesla. So we're definitely seeing a lot of push up on it. I suspect there's gonna be some profit taking uh, in the new year, just for some of the more short term investors in Tesla. So you're going to see a bit of a drop, I would say, on Monday, January 4th, when the markets open back up. And depending on how the market does for the first month, we'll probably see a continued upward activity for Tesla. So another interesting stat is this uh, stock push up today has increased Elon Musk's net worth. And it's interesting because it's climbed significantly this year. In December, he catapulted over Bill Gates and the Arnold family uh, to become number two for highest net worth right behind Jeff Bezos. And that was about 154 billion in December. And as of today, it looks like he's at about 167. Bezos is still about at 190 and Amazon price keeps going up. So I'm not, I'm pretty sure uh, Elon Musk is not gonna catch up to Bezos uh, anytime in the next year. Uh, but it's very interesting to see just this catapult of close to 140 billion in net worth this year alone for Elon Musk. So really good story overall for Tesla. I stand by what I said in my Tesla video. I'll put a link up here for you guys to watch that. And it's just my long-term take on Tesla. So that's it for today's video, guys. Just want to cover this uh, breaking news from Tesla. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Every little bit helps for my new channel. And I wish everybody a happy new year. Celebrate safely tonight. And we will catch you in 2021.